how can we break this down so that we don't just you know despair and say well what's this all about fuck we're, we're in hell then if we're in a metaverse but we can actually open our consciousness far and wide enough to perceive the real reality but how do we how do we learn the tricks like is it how do we learn where the fake happens so we don't fall for it you know we were told to keep our distance right and and we're told by the same promoters of this fake thing ideology that one of the other big themes is we're overpopulated right there's too many of us right well it's interesting i remember that tanya and i were interviewing professor um persinger michael persinger in sudbury and he's one of the cutting edge scientists also in this you know he's not with us anymore he's left the planet but he told us that the human brain is resonating with the Schumann frequencies and, and, and resonates at eight hertz. Both of those, and we, we know when systems resonate together, there's an exchange of information. In fact, that's where you could say micro, microcosm, macrocosm, the human brain, the cerebral cortex is microcosm, where all the information is stored. The macrocosm is the Schumann magnetic field of the earth, which is the giant hard drive that stores everything, all every human being has ever experienced, right? And, but he said at a certain threshold of an, the amount of brains on the planet, it turns around where we no longer are being fed strictly one way information from the magnetosphere, but that the force and the uh, power of the human electro biosphere that each human body generates, and it's trillions of potential watts, by the way, but connected together in a, in a um, population density of upwards of 8 billion people we begin to actually resonate out into the cosmos and affect the Schumann frequencies and beyond. The Fibonacci spiral, we're all familiar with that. Everyone says that nature is built along the Fibonacci spiral, right? The 1.168, 1 you know, this, this uh, long number, right? Well, they say that in this teaching, and this is, I think, what blew a lot of people's minds, is that there's another um, spiral, which is called the crystal spiral, which is a, another frequency, which is actually taking, which is more in line with the natural axis. And they've been running in parallel for eons, right? And it just so worked out that the people that are putting this information together showed us that these two spirals have been running parallel and they're gonna connect and collide on November 8 or 9, 2023. Take, you know, I don't, I don't know if the numbers, you know, I'm not a numbers person, I don't like to stick numbers, but it's in, isn't it interesting, John, that they said that these timelines would collide, and one of them is the fake timeline that it has been, here's the thing that most people are going to have the hardest time swallowing with this information. Because we've all been told that the flower of life, right, and, you know, the, the platonic bodies, right, these are all, this is what the nature of our universe is built on. Well, what these people are saying is, no, that's hex geometry. And it's been so old and so long in our world that we actually believe the Fibonacci sequence to be the natural sequence. Doesn't it make sense if the artificial beings that are trying to enslave us would give us a code, they would give us the wrong code? There's this, what they call a Saturn moon matrix, where this is, this is actually really going on. There's actually this signal coming from Saturn, seemingly broadcast or rebroadcast from the moon. And when they put the Sputnik up there, they went, holy cow, like right? it's, it's really, really happening, right? So this was, I think, the very, very beginnings of something which they then, you know, they set in motion a whole field of research, which began very, very early on. And and I, and one of the, and I, I went and checked that. I thought, okay, now Eugene could be a crackpot, right? You never know, right? Because you sort of, you don't know, he's all over the place. But I started looking at his research and I was actually really blown away. He started revealing stuff like, here, for example, this will blow your mind. You deserve the truth, but big tech does not want you to hear it. So we built our own inspired platform on the inspiredchannel.com. To watch the full video and more, just click the link in the video description or the pinned comment.